Chester Overture was composed in 1956 by American composer William Schumann, who composed the work on a commission from the Pi Kappa Omicron Band Fraternity for Ernest Lyon and the University of Louisville Band. Schumann had taken this commission as an opportunity to adapt and recompose the final movement of his New England triptych, which was based on three tunes by colonial American composer William Billings. The tune used was entitled Chester, which was a very popular melody in the time of the American Revolution, first appearing in the publication The Singing Master's Assistant as a hymn, but when the War for Independence was on, it was adopted as a marching song played on fife and drums. Schumann's composition in both the original orchestral work and the band piece begins with the chorale treatment of the tune. The chorale begins in G major, played by a woodwind choir, then is passed over to the brass and percussion in E flat major. After the chorale winds down with the basses making the final statement, Schumann catapults the music into a very quick tempo, with the marching beat starting up in the drums with a cluster chord accompanying it. The upper woodwinds return with the melody, and after a full statement, Schumann begins to manipulate the tune by creating a dialogue between the high and low voices, using short fragments of the theme. The fragments are then given a glimpse of harmony using parallel minor thirds and major thirds. Percussion begins to interject between each fragment, and the woodwinds elaborate on the fragments with longer lines of sixteenth notes. After that, Schumann introduces the next idea, which consists of polychords in a rhythmic staccato treatment of the theme. The polychords then become broad, making room for the percussion to again interject during the longer notes. The brass explodes with a tone pyramid which quells the rhythmic theme and makes room for a new legato treatment of the melody. The new section, marked Flowing, features the theme in a legato style harmonized in thirds with parallel minor chords underneath it. After this section, the staccato polychord music is revisited, with the woodblock now filling in the vacant spaces between the short staccato eighth notes. The low brass then takes over the theme, with the woodwinds flurrying above it. Again, the polychord eighth note idea returns in conjunction with bass drum and cymbals. The piece begins to wrap up with the return of the chorale setting of the theme in the brass quietly at first, with the snare and field drums marching beat underneath, before accumulating more and more instruments orchestrating the crescendo to the final triumphant bars accompanied by the bombast of the timpani and percussion.